Oh, you're about to see us reappear with some great stuff. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. A twist on the traditional Mexican buñuelo. Plus, bacon, lettuce, and tomato, and turkey. How to take your classic VLT to the next level during your lunch hour. And swing into spring with dresses where you can step out in style on a budget. Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. Warming up. I don't want to know how to do that. <laughs> you would have been a magician in another life, wouldn't you? <laughs> yes, we've got everything on today's show from sweets to yep. treats and especially tricks right now. Yes, indeed. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. It is a Magic Monday, and magician Scott Pepper joins us. And you have a card trick planned for us, right? Hello, yeah. How are you? <laughs> yeah. We're going to actually do what we sometimes do. I'm going to show you a trick, and then we're actually going to teach you how to do something as well. Okay. So um, these you're probably familiar with. This is a deck of bicycle playing cards. Right. But what some people aren't familiar with is what's actually on the cards. You see these guys here riding the bicycles are actually little angels. Yeah. And um, if you say, actually, you probably know the angels that look after people are called guardian angels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And these right. are called cardian angels because they're on a <laughs> card, see? Yes, thank you for that. Yes, okay. Now, actually, Cardian Angels can help with quite a lot of things, but no one ever uh, bothers to ask them because they don't know what they can do. So first, we have to introduce ourselves okay. to the angels. You have to use your full first name. So, uh, Mike, you would be Michael, I guess. Michael. Fiona, you would be Fiona. Fiona. And um, Scott would be Scott. So I'll go first. Okay. Hello, I'm Scott. Hello, I'm Fiona. Hello, I'm Michael. There we go. Now they know us. We can do a trick. Okay. So, okay. Michael, uh, let's do this with yes. you. Um, just, I'm going to flick through. Just shout stop. Stop. There? Okay. Now, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what that was. You were quick. That was <laughs> right. All right, we're not going to take that card. I've seen it. Take the face down card. Show the camera. Don't let me see. I'm looking straight at the monitor, but that's Ooh, fine. Okay, okay good. Yeah. It <laughs> but it's not me that's going to find the card. Place the okay. card back in somewhere for me, just around about there. Good. Okay. Now, check it out. Now, you guys may want to look at the monitor for this, but check the angel out right here. The angel is going to do something really cool and try and find your card. Watch. If we flick through here, you can see the angel right there. Watch. But remember your card, Mike. Let's check it out. Here we go. The angel actually jumps off the bike. What? Grabs out a card. Uh, oh. Do you remember? What was your card, Mike? The two of hearts. Two of hearts. There <gasps> it is. And do you know how they knew this, Mike? Because look, Mike, they had your name oh, oh. right on there. Okay, she's more amazed than I am this time around. That's... But the weirdest thing as well is just they're very shy, and after a while they go back to their original places. See, oh, yeah. my goodness. And then they won't wake up again until you ask them. Uh, the Cardian Angels, there they are. That is okay. so cool. <laughs> that was really cool. You like that one. Good, good, good. Well, now we're going to okay. do something that we can teach everyone here okay. at okay. the uh, SA Live audience. And for this, I need a couple of cards. I already have them ready. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to use a black seven and black eight. And you can have one each okay. and just place them wherever you want in the deck. So really just anywhere you want. Really doesn't matter where they go. Uh, okay, now would you... In two different locations. Okay. Let's see. No breaks or anything like that. They really okay. are in there. Watch this. One, two, three. <gasps> oh, my goodness. He wants to know how you did that. Would you, would you like to know? <laughs> yeah. I could do it. Okay. Well, there's a few rules of magic. Of course, one of them is don't tell anyone how you do a trick. Second okay. rule is don't do a trick twice. We're going to do it one more time. Okay. okay. This All time, right. put both the cards in somewhere in the middle for me. Okay. okay. Uh, together? Yeah, yeah go on. Okay. Put them together this time. Okay. That way, maybe it make it more difficult. Here we go. Watch. <laughs> one, two, three. And straight out again. <laughs> <gasps> Did you get it? Have you figured it out? I think you're giving me the wrong cards, right? Well, let me show you. Let me show you. You need okay. four cards for this trick, right? Uh, because they're already in a deck of cards. What you need is the seven of clubs, the eight of spades, the eight of clubs, oh. and the seven of spades. So okay. you need these four cards. The seven of clubs goes on top. The eight of spades goes on bottom. That okay. leaves us with these two, the black seven and the black eight. Now... It's the eight of clubs and seven of spades, and you can put them in wherever right. you want, but what you make sure you emphasize on them putting them in the deck, because that's where they think the trick is going to be, but really you've got your cards ready to go, and you just do this little move. You hold on to the top and bottom card. As oh, you got to be quick. Out. Yeah, it takes yeah, a little bit of practice. Quick. There's going to be a lot of cards over your living room for the first few times you <laughs> okay. try this, but then eventually you'll show the uh, seven and the eight, and no one will be any of the wiser. And the mind's just still reversing the suits on the cards. They don't even so think about it. Yep. Don't nope, even... nope, I didn't. They just saw a black I remember thinking, I go, was it the seven or the eight? I was yeah, like, I don't right. remember, yeah. but it looks right. Because <laughs> when you first pulled them out, I was like, well, why, uh, why not both clubs, why not both spades? But I thought, make it, oh, that's interesting. Okay. That's a fun one to do. Interesting. You've been kind of like... 
flying the seven seas. Well, these I, days, yeah, right? I've been, I've been, I've been uh, on some cruise ships recently, on the Disney cruise ships again, and then I actually went back home to England for about a month. So I got to see my friends and family out there, and also went to a big magic convention in England, the Blackpool Magic Convention. Three and a half thousand magicians uh, came to Blackpool. So uh, actually, that's where I learned a few more of these uh, new effects that we're going to be showing you today. So do they have, say, like any other convention, like conferences where maybe one magician stands up there and teaches new tricks to everybody? Absolutely. Or, or you guys I, I, I actually personally went to a lot of the lectures, like a lot of the magicians would lecture their own material and you could learn from them. There was gala shows where we had some of the best in the world come and perform for these magicians. Uh, it was, and there's a dealer hall where people will you know, sell you tricks, sell you okay. books, sell you things like that. I shouldn't really be telling you that, but there's about 200 of these people come wow. in to yeah, sell okay. these tricks. Well, he's got another trick another coming, up one coming up here. Another one coming up. Yeah, after the break. But if you think that's magical, mm -hmm. how about... Another trick that's going to be a little more mind-blowing, <laughs> mind I should say. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, get ready for your best poker face because David Elder sat down with El Rey Feo and his court for a round of Texas Hold'em. Take a look. Hey, it's David Elder with SA Live. Well, I'm out here at Paramore in downtown San Antonio for a great cause. Ray Fail Canseo is putting on this event, and it's for poker players to come out here, and hopefully, if they win, you get to go to the World Series of Poker in Las Vegas. That's right. You have the chance to go and make something of yourself. So I'm actually here as David Elder, but I created an alter ego to help me win, and his name is Scott St. James. For somebody who's never been in a poker tournament before, like me, okay, I've never, I've played poker, but I've never been in a tournament. Uh, would you, you got any tips, anything good that you'd like to share? Well, you know, obviously, don't, don't give anything away. Instead of David Elder, I'm changing my name to Scott St. James. I've got my my sunglasses and I got a cigar that I'm going to be rocking. What do you think about that? I think it's great. Um, the sunglasses are going to uh, help you keep in your toes down because it, a lot of professional poker players say that they can tell by your eyes. No when to hold them, no when to fold them, no when to walk away, no when to run. So as soon as the poker tournament started, I knew that I was in a situation that I wasn't comfortable with. I've never really played poker before, so I was really just trying to stay calm and watch what everybody else was doing. I did eventually get knocked out by the guy sitting right next to me. I think he cheated. I'm going to go on the record and saying that he saw my cards and he cheated. Uh, that's the only way he could knock me out because, I mean, I think I was I was doing all right. You knocked me out. I knocked you out. You knocked me out. How do, how do you feel about that? Do you feel pretty Terribly good? guilty. <laughs> terribly, you feel, you terribly feel guilty. guilty. Yeah. You did it with a lot of ease, though. I tell you what, it's cards, though, you know. It's cards. Yeah. It is what you do. You come out here. The glasses didn't work, did they? They didn't. Uh, they intimidated me. They worked very, very well. They <laughs> good. Worked I love the cigar. Well. Cigar's a good one, too. Uh, unlit, it wasn't that powerful. <laughs> so, you know. The cigar and the sunglasses didn't really work too well in my favor. I got knocked out, but it's okay. It all goes through a great cause. Rafael Canseo is over here giving all the money back to education. It's really fun out here at Paramore. And let me tell you, it's going to be a great year for Fiesta. Events like this are making the city flourish. It's fun. It's bringing people out. And I got to tell you, I'm, I'm going to be back next year with a better disguise to intimidate more people. Scott St. James is coming back next year. You can count on that. To find out more information about Ray Feo and the organization, just head to our website, salive.com. For SA Live, I'm Scott St. James. <laughs> Scott St. James. Are you any good at poker? I'm not. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, I will never go up and sit. I'm, I'm too scared I'm going to do something. <laughs> Well, you know, totally wrong. The, and they get the glasses and everything like that. Ah, yeah. So, but it's like just good hands-on kind of poker like that, mm -hmm. which makes you wonder. You know, especially younger folks with electronic devices, have they ever actually played? Have they ever actually done, like with an actual deck with of cards, actual deck of right. cards or poker right. chips, or right. some of the everything's online kind of things? Yeah, solitaire's online. Everything's online, which raises our mm. question. Yes, what do you still use that is a little old school? Old school. Mm -hmm. Maybe a checkbook register. A deck of cards. Okay. Put your cards in there. Put my cards in there. Oh, oh, anywhere, you're gonna anywhere, try this. Anywhere, All right. Try it, try it, anywhere. Try it. Here we go. There yeah. they are. All right. Let's see. Come on. Come on. There they are. Ah, you're dead. Yes. How's that, Scott? <laughs> Look at that. Anyway, <laughs> that's our social question, though. Not can you do a card trick, but you know those those little things that some the younger mm. ones go. That's old-fashioned. I still handwrite all my notes, and I still yes. have a paper calendar on my desk. Yes, I won't indeed. do anything in my phone. I just can't do it. So let us know at SA Life KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. What old-school thing do you still do? 
and we'll air some of those later on in the show. All right, coming up next, he is really getting warmed up, literally. Scott's got, okay over there, Scott's got another magic trick for us after the break. And still ahead, they're sugary sweet and topped with sprinkles. Traditional buñuelos have never looked this good. We're going to show you how to make them. favorite days. It is. Especially that <laughs> balloon trick. This is the day he's always amazed. <laughs> Scott Pepper is here, and he, first of all, it was the card trick, and now you have another one. Yes, mm -hmm. we're going we're to do something really cool, because I said, while I was at Blackpool, I learned some new techniques, and a, 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 a very talented mentalist named Joel Dickinson taught me this new trick. He taught me how to read minds and predict the future. So, so we'll this is debuting for the first debuting time Debuting for the first television. time, yes. Okay. So what I've done here, I've got a small notepad, and I've written down a few different fruits. You see that? We've got raspberry, blackberry, lemon, mm -hmm. pomegranate, coconut, a bunch of different ones. So mm -hmm. uh, would you um, place your hand out for me, okay. Fiona? I'm going to place the pad on there. Okay. What do you do with your right hand? Mm -hmm. I just need you to take your thumb and open the pad somewhere, but don't let me see okay. it, what, which uh, fruit you look at. So have a look at that fruit. Yep. Remember it. Uh -huh. Close the pad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. And just put the pad down for a moment. Okay. That's great. Now I have a little... Did they need to know? That's fine for the minute, actually, as okay. long as you know. Okay. You okay. saw? Yeah, I saw it too. Okay. 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 So this is the mind reading part. Okay. I need you to visualize that fruit for me and just send it to me. Uh, I'm going to first go with the color. Okay. I'm thinking it's yellow. Uh, no, I mean, maybe a, from a distance. Okay. If you squint your eyes really yeah, tight, yeah, it yeah. looks yellow. Yeah. Kind of. No, all right, not getting much here. Okay, I'll get yeah, there. Yeah, okay, yeah, look, yeah, yeah. Let's think of the shape. Look at me. Okay. It's like a half moon shape. No. Half, but, no, you didn't let me finish. Like a full moon shape, like a circle. Like a circle. No, 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 longer than a circle, like an oblong okay. kind of shape. Uh -huh. Is that? <laughs> okay, think of the amount of letters in there. Let me see if I can get this. It's six, seven, eight, nine. I guess this takes more practice than uh, <laughs> oh, I think. Oh, no. um, all right, be honest. What was, the, what was the fruit you picked? Pear. Like a pair of bananas? <laughs> 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 uh, no, a pear. Pear. Okay, well, oh I said gosh. I learned two things, mind reading and oh my gosh. predicting the future. Oh, okay. my gosh. I've had a prediction here the oh whole time. No. I'm going to rip it open for dramatic effect. Inside here, check this out, guys, is a can of fruit cocktail, and there must be a pear in there somewhere. <laughs> Actually, look, second on the list is a pear. How about that? Oh my God. <laughs> Amazing. Well, no, let's do this. Wait. Actually, Fiona, check this. Okay. This is solid. It hasn't okay. been opened. Okay. Would you open it up for me? All I'll right, hold this tight for you. Yep. You picked a what? A pear. A pear. Take out oh, what's inside. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew I'll it. I knew it. A pear. I knew it. I knew it. I knew Wow. I'm like, Slightly sweaty pear. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's good. Yes. That was really yes. good. That's good. Okay. Any of them. Okay. What, you have some... Um, Dates coming up? Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, fruits, dates. Mm -hmm. And we've also got another trick to show you. Have we got time? Yes. Yeah. One, Excellent. Good. 30 oh, seconds. Okay. We got 30 seconds. All right, let's do this. 30 seconds. All right. Mm -hmm. Pick a banana, Mike. Uh, I'll take this one. Okay. Pick an even number between one and five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, actually between two and five. Even number. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Four. Good choice. Ha, 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 ha. Four karate chops. See that? Look, this is just a banana, but now hopefully if we open this up. One, two, three, and four pieces. Two. Three and four chops. There it is. Of the oh, banana. Oh, my goodness. Karate. Okay. Have we got time to show them how it's done very quickly? We, mi we might. Okay. Cool. Do we, Katie? I don't know. Okay, yes, yeah, we okay. do. Okay, quick. So okay. you're going to take a banana. You're going to get... You're going to do this very carefully. You take a toothpick or a needle, and you place it into the banana, and you twirl it back and forward like this. Ah. And then you pull it out, and see, all it does is leave a tiny, tiny, tiny little mark. And you do that four times. I think I did this for all of them as well. Look, there we go. And <laughs> you end case. up with a bunch of banana uh, cut into pieces, and it doesn't damage the skin. So... Uh, I like that. There you go. Like that Magic thing, trick too, number so. two you can practice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Coming up next, oh, we have got, still on the show, I should say, Curb Your Appetite with the Ultimate Baja BLT from the Gypsy Diner. And next, bring the scent of spring inside your home. The benefits of essential oils.
Essential oils, you may have heard about them and never tried them. Not only do they smell very nice, but they can also be good for you. And Mona Sines is here from EOB Boutique. Yes. And so I just think of essential oils as, okay, something my wife puts around and smells good. But you said yeah. they actually have therapeutic value to them. Yes, they are. They come, they're derived from a plant. Mm -hmm. So they bring all the therapeutic benefits that a plant has to repair itself. Oh, so okay. I started off the same thing, thinking they just smelled really right. nice um, and they were a great addition to our home. Come to find out, I needed to clean up our home chemical-wise and all the candles and things that we were using. And so I started learning about essential oils. So then last year we met because I had introduced our and line of essential oil bracelets. And these are little bracelets and yes. these stones right there, you actually put the essential oil on there. And they you can... all have lava stones. All of our okay. jewelry has lava stones. So you put oils directly on the lava stones. Mm -hmm. They absorb the oils and they diffuse throughout the day with your body heat. Okay. So not only can you have the therapeutic and aromatherapy benefits in your home, you can wear them around in your jewelry. And so it'll just be kind of around you, but then also just every once in a while you can kind of just go and get a nice yes. little whiff of it. So, yes, okay. absolutely. This is an interesting looking little gadget. Uh, yes, it's we call it our little dinosaur egg. So we started <laughs> with like the essential oil bracelets and mm -hmm. then we opened a boutique recently. And so this is our signature diffuser. Um, it is great for a big room. So it's able to diffuse the whole house. It's oh, able really? to cover about 1,200 square feet and it's able this to stay thing? on for 18 hours. So you just put some of this in there? So what I love to show is how to use it. So you fill up the tank. Uh, it, everything has a little max line. It'll show you exactly right. the indicator. And that's water in there? That's water. So all you do is put, we'll do three or four drops. We're going to use lime because we're in the spring. We're so I want it to be spring and I want my... <laughs> that little bit that you put in there is going to then take care of a 1,200 square yes. feet in your home. Yes. Wow. So you it's close potent. it up. Oh. And then mm. we turn it smell. on. And even with and this I breeze out here, I'm still getting you nice... can see how it starts. Mm-hmm. But you can start smelling it around you instantly. Okay. And along, even with being outside. Along with the essential oils, now that you have a boutique, you have other uh, clothing items Now you as can well. see how it's oh, yeah. vaping. There, there it's coming out. You can just barely see it right there. Yeah. And you have other um, wraps and scarves? And well, we actually started working with different people, and I was, able to, I was introduced to a lady that does missionary work in Nepal, and she brought me all sorts of cute stuff from Nepal. So we've got some super cute textile shorts. These are beautiful. Scarves. Great gift ideas if you're yes. looking for something, maybe even for uh, Mother's Day or Yes, absolutely. Birthday. Okay. Teachers well, you, really love all this stuff. Oh, and that's a great idea, yeah. too. All right. If you'd like more on EOB Boutique and all the essential oils, it's over there on Days of Olive Road, and you can go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Mona, thank you very much. Coming up on SA Live, Buenuelos like you've never seen before. It's the only place in town that makes them with these cute shapes. Look at that. They're bunnies. Yes, you can put these in your Easter baskets. So excited for that. Plus, still ahead on the show, we're helping you swing into spring with sundresses. The high, the low, and the flowy. We have the breakdown on the best budget-friendly trends. Stay with us. It's a Monday on SA Live, and nothing says family quite like tradition. Okay, many of you may remember making these with your family. I know I do with my grandmother, and they are delicious. But we have San Antonio Bonuelo Company, Cynthia Stahl, owner, Hi. here to show us a fun and festive twist. And this is something that the whole family can enjoy, because I know the little ones, the yes. colors, just the bright yes. colors. and being able to taste the traditional recipe, but right. in a different way. Yes. Right? So what are we making today? So today we'll be making a traditional rosette. Um, we're gonna mix the batter together. Okay. And then you'll fry it up. All right. Perfect. So we'll start with some flour. Is this a family recipe? That you it is, this is for TV mm -hmm. only. Yeah, we can't give it all away, <laughs> just yeah. so you know, but. And then we have <laughs> our milk, add that in there, bring that over here. And then we'll crack our egg. And you said this is something you just really enjoy doing. When yeah, I do. And, you know, when I was younger, my grandmother would make them. And then my mother took over. Mm -hmm. And then I took over. And then my daughter took, you know, she does them as well. 
So it's it's a family business. I love that. In all aspects. Um, you can find my mom and I in the kitchen making all of these Buñuelos some um, for our customers. Mm -hmm. um, and we sing and we dance and we Aww. talk about the past. So, yeah, it's... That's priceless. I mean, yes, that's it just is. Great memories, too. And with this particular batter, we'll add a little bit of color just to um, make it a little bit fun. Mm -hmm. And then... So the kids, I'm sure when they when they order these, what is, what's some of the reactions? Well, my little girl who's seven, uh -huh. um, she wants... Even her pancakes color. <laughs> but, yes, she'll, she'll say, oh, I like this color. And Caroline, you know, I ask her, you know, does, what about purple? Do you like this purple? I love it. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> if she likes it, then other seven-year-olds yeah, will seven, like it. That's that's good to have her around then. Yes. <laughs> so you know and my youngest like. customer is one. Oh, yes. okay. One. So here you go. All right. So next. So you know how to do this. You, you're an expert. <laughs> You meaning she told me to be in the commercial <laughs> break? Okay, so we'll go. We'll dab it. Dab oh, it first. dab. See, yeah. I'm already messing it's up. It's okay. All right. And then. It's not completely mixed, but it's fine. And just go ahead and put it in just a little bit further. Okay. And then kind of move it up a little bit. Okay. There you go. And put it into the fryer. All right. There you go. And you could just let it sit there for, okay. for a minute or so. And these are your special tools, right? Yes. This is not something. We have our molds made for us, mm -hmm. so it's. You can't go out you to a store and buy them. You can get them yeah. from you guys, yeah. And then you want to move it just a little bit, bob it up and down. Okay. Or, yes. Uh, and it should come right off. Uh, there you oh, go. there it is. Wow. And we could just set it back in the oil. You can leave it right I'll there. Leave it's it fine. leave it right there. Okay. And that takes, you know, roughly about a minute, a minute and a half on each side. So you want to just move it around. You know, um, mm -hmm. you want to turn it over so the underside gets cooked oh, as well. Yes. And you guys are all over, so you, you're mobile, and people can find you where? Well, yes. You can place an order um, mm -hmm. through email, text, um, or through our social media platforms. Um, you'll be able to find us in April at the Viva Hemisphere on April 7th. Okay. And then you'll also be able to find us at the Battle of Flowers after party at Pearl Park on April 27th. Great. So, But in the meantime, I mean, text us. All of these. Yes. So these are some of the things people can get. Tell me about what's on the table here. Well, we have our Fiesta mix right here. Um, it's uh, six colors. Um, what inspired this was the Fiesta flower crown. Yes. And then we have our bunny rabbits, and we have them with sprinkles um, and chocolate, and we have them just traditional with cinnamon and sugar. We also have our cascarona eggs here. Um, these are, are so darling. They're really cute. Oh, you can also add that. a little bit of confetti and to that if you want, or some edible glitter. And so these here, that's yes. what you brought here, but you can melt them and then And then you can add whatever on. sprinkle you'd like. Gosh, um, so We fun. actually add, um, this is our pot of gold for St. Patrick's Day, as cinnamon sugar and um, some edible glitter. Edible glitter. And then, you know, these are great because we put them on a stick. You can just I eat them. That. Great for the basket. Mm -hmm. um, Something different yeah. to put in the So Easter you baskets. can eat a Buñuelo on the go. You couldn't do that, you know, 50 years ago. And some, what are some other um, different designs that you guys do? We do, um, we have our traditional minis. Mm -hmm. uh, we make those as small as one and a half inches. And then we have our Texas shape. We, do, we can do hearts. Uh, we can do letters. They're not very big, but we can do some letters. So any custom Anything, orders? Anything, yes. All we right. can customize colors. Um, and here you go. I'm thinking birthday parties and all yes. kinds of fun things. Baby yes. showers, bridal showers. We'll and eventually we'll have some more molds made for us, maybe a unicorn. Ooh. You know, um, what's really cute is we have a star mold uh -huh. to put on a stick for like a fairy birthday party oh with a bunch of ribbons. See, I'm already doing the birthday planning really cute. in my head. Well, thank you so much for yes. all these lovely ideas. And, of course, you can only get them from San Antonio Buñuelo Company. Yes. For more information, go to SALive.com where we've provided a link. Thank you so much. Thank you They're for having beautiful. us. Beautiful. All right. Coming up earlier, we asked you, well, what is that old school thing that you still do? Minga says, I hand wash my dishes and I don't, I was the same way for a good while. I don't like to wash the dishes when the sun is out. I like to hand my clothes outside on the clothesline. So fresh. I like that, Minga. Keep your comments coming. And Mike, what else is going on? Speaking about something that may be old school, how about a BLT? But boy, this has got a nice twist on it. It's a Baja Turkey BLT from Gypsy Diner. That, and we're making this avocado cheddar burger. Oh my goodness. And uh, they won a prize. Gypsy Diner did as well. We're going to tell you about that coming up after the break.
are swinging into spring with some of the sunniest dresses of the season. Joining me is Alyssa Starcher here at Uptown Cheapskate. And this place is so cool because you can find great deals on name brands. Yes, ma'am. Here at Uptown Cheapskate, we buy and sell gently used clothing. We give you the option of store credit as well. It's worth 25% more than the cash offer. So it's really fun as far as whenever you want to trade out the old clothes that you no longer need, no longer use, doesn't fit you no more, out for some brand new trends. And you can find name brands here for a lot less. You'll find anything from J. Crew, mm -hmm. Anthropology, Free People, Lululemon, Kate Spade, Michael Kors. It's almost as if this is a dupe for the mall. Right. All in one place. So let's talk trends for spring. What are we seeing on the runways? You know what? Mm. Has coming back? Polka dots. Oh. You're going to see lots of purples. That's our color of the year. Lots of plungy necklines, square necklines at that, mm -hmm. backless, flowy dresses, off the shoulder. And then speaking of backless, we have our model here, Felicia. Wow, she's wearing a few of the trends Let, you just mentioned. Yes, the plungy neckline. See how it's very flowy. There's floral. We can always transition floral from fall to spring. And then we have the braided detailing. And then in the back, very open little sass for you. We have the tassel earrings in this bold green, which are handcrafted and made from one of our sales associates, Anna, Lillian, and Eve. And I love the halter, you know, just because it, it just seems like it's just really comfortable. Yes. All right, and then we have some wedges here, nude. You can wear them in fall, you can wear them in spring, and in summer, very fun. All right, and then, then this romper right here is perfect for that girl that doesn't feel like wearing a dress. You can take it from day to night. Oh yeah, depending on accessories and shoes, you can go either way. And then we have the intricate details, day glow green, and then we paired it with some cobalt blue tassel earrings that are glass beading. The colors work because of a neutral base. Accessories, we have a Michael Kors crossbody, very cute, black and white, and then some very super casual Sam Edelman heels. All right, Fiona, remember whenever we mentioned we're going to see lots of purple? Mm -hmm. Here it is. So we've paired this lavender A-line symmetrical dress mm -hmm. with a simple jean jacket. We all have them in the closet, mm -hmm. but this one looks great with her dress because it's not the type that you're going to wear with jeans or any of that. It is, it falls perfectly at the waist. Because, I mean, you don't want to look frumpy with the long ones. No, no, no. It falls perfect yes. you know, for that, that style of dress. Because you're right. If it goes any longer, you're going to borderline into frumpy down and nobody wants to go there. Yes. And then we've paired them with a simple gladiator metallic wedge. This right here is what I love the most. Her beautiful handcrafted necklace by Lillian Eve. I love the detailing because that right there is just what ties in the outfit together. So before we go, real quick, what are a couple of accessory trends that are gonna they're in? All right, well, you're gonna still see feathers flying around. <laughs> Another one, guess what? What? Fanny packs are back, 80s what? trend. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, dig them out of your dad's closet somewhere, right? Right, right. They're, they're there. <laughs> For more information on Uptown Cheapskate and all these outfits and accessories, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Fanny packs are back, seriously? I can pull mine out of the uh, storage there. Quit laughing, Fiona. Hey, coming up, we are making a bacon avocado burger and a little bit of a twist on the classic BLT. Oh, nothing like the smell of sizzling bacon. Buns are browning. Look at that. Ooh, this is going to be good. Hey, coming up tomorrow on SA Live, the perfect sweet treat for spring, how to make a refreshing lemon bar with Scratch Kitchen. And we're going green for St. Patrick's Day, how to put a splash of color into your kids' foods to celebrate this fun and festive holiday. That is a great tip, by the way, with those pancakes. Okay, ooh, the griddle is hot. We have got a couple of classic dishes here. A burger, a BLT, what's better than that? However, Norm Goodman's gonna really spice it up from Gypsy Diner. So we've got the ground beef cooking right here. We've got our official taster over here. <laughs> That's right, yeah. There she yes. is. Cheers. Very lovely yes. and talented Fiona. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Fiona. All right, so we're starting with the BLT, correct? Yes. All right, how are we getting this? How this is our, this? Our, our famous Baja BLT. That's mm -hmm. uh, one of our original menu items from when we started the truck two years ago. 
We're still true classic to that. Uh, makes it uh, unique is we use our uh, truck made chipotle mayo that we okay. make on uh, ourselves. And we're gonna put a little bit of that in the bottom. So just some uh, chipotle and pepper and mayo and that's it? Maybe some other spices in there too? It's just chipotle mayos and, and okay. mayo. Uh, chipotle peppers and mayo mixed up. All right. And then from there we're gonna put our... A um, little bit of avoc little bit of avocado, avocado on there. Okay. Yeah, we woke up our avocado slices here with a little salt and pepper. You know, there's nothing better, I don't think, than a nice, refreshing BLT. But even, and I notice you put cheese on it, too, because I love putting cheese on mine. You have to. As well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bit, and the avocado, I think avocado goes great on anything. I, I, it does. Yeah. It does. Can't go wrong with avocado. Okay. And then we've got our um, smoked sliced turkey. Okay. That will, turkey breast here that will... So while you are assembling that, the lovely and talented Fiona is also that little um, bit of chipotle. Yeah, right there. Oh, I get you. That it's little really bite. Nice. Just, yeah. just a little, little, just a little bit of a kick. Yeah, yeah, just a little while bit. While she's sneak dining, up. she has some reading material with her, and there is a reason for that because That's you are. Uh, Best food truck. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. San Antonio Magazine did their um, Reader's Choice 75 categories, and mm -hmm. we were in the food truck. We made it through the nomination round. It was the top four nominees for each category. So we made it through the nomination round and then competed against three other fellow trucks in the city and took number one for 2018. Yes. More cheering. For Thank, you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. We're excited. Okay, enough talking. Let's get back to cooking. Okay, so then we're <laughs> going to top that off with a fresh sliced tomato, yep. our leaf lettuce here, and then we'll do our classic Pop it on sandwich there. over opposite bread from the other. And you put the... this. It, Again, drives people nuts, right? <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. They do their bread opposite like that. There's the bottom, there's the top. And you said people just kind of, it, it's not normal. It just kind of throws you off a little bit when you look it at it. You know, you've got your crust on one side of each uh, side of each sandwich. So it's kind of unique for us, kind of our signature. I love that. Okay, now we are doing the bacon cheddar avocado yes, burger. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. Yep, we hollered on the truck as a back. we got another back coming in. So we've got just a nice... Patty of uh, ground beef on we there. We do. We use Angus Chuck, 8020 oh, Angus, Angus Chuck. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh huh. So we think that gives you out a better flavor. And use the 8020 so you get you can see the the, then the, the cheddar. Tray. Yes, sir. Okay. And that's a, kind of our signature is that we uh, we put our our bacon underneath the uh, cheese. Okay. So kind of uh, not on top no, of so it. Correct. I like that. Correct. And you toasted the buns oh, yeah, on both that. sides. We did. All right. We did. So we're just going to put this on the bun right Ooh. now. Right. Like there you that. go. There you go. And then I'm about to take a bite. Look at that. Oh my Look at goodness! That, right? Look at that. Now you're about to layer this up over there. <laughs> darn toot, I am. Okay. So, all right. Get that over here. So we've got the bacon, the cheddar, and what next? There's your avocado over mm -hmm. here. Avocado. Okay. A little Let's bit of avocado. I'll just use my fingers. Okay. They're fairly clean, I think. Okay. And then what next? you've got pickles. Pickles. Mm -hmm. We load it up all the way. Okay. If you don't like something, we're uh, dills or sweet. Those are dills. These Ham are, hamburger okay. slices hamburger? all the way. Oh, tomato. tomato. Okay. Onion. A little, little bit of tomato. <laughs> there you go. Onion. Got to like do the onion. Got to do the one. onion. And then, <laughs> and then also instructing me on how to make one. So there you and go. then a little bit of there's your leaf lettuce. Lettuce leaf on lettuce? top. Okay. What other uh, items are on your menu? We have over 10 different specialty sandwiches, wraps, burgers, melts. Um, we brought back this spring menu. On our spring menu, we brought back our grilled fish sandwich. Mm -hmm. um, I know it's a little popular during Lent time. It's a uh, grilled white fish. Uh, we serve that with Chuck Made uh, tartar sauce and top it off with our Chuck Made coleslaw. Oh, wow. Um, okay, what do I do to, to finish this one up? You like ketchup, mustard, mayo, all the way, whichever you like. Okay, I'll do a little bit of mustard on here. Each one's made to order when you come on up, so it's, you don't want onions, we won't put it on. You want some mayo? Ooh, we'll put extra mayo. Good. And where is your truck usually? Well, you can okay. actually catch us this week. We will be down at Hemisphere Plaza <clears throat> um, celebrating with San Antonio Magazine's Best of the City. Uh, we'll be out there offering samples of our Southwest Turkey Melt, um, which we featured here a, little, a couple months ago. Uh, we'll be doing a limited number of our pork chop sandwich, and we're going to bring out our mozzarella stuffed meatball sliders. Thursday Ooh. night from 6 to 10. Mozzarella stuffed meatball sliders? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And once again, that is something that is open to the public, and there are tickets? Yes, sir. You, you go on San Antonio Magazine's website. They have a link for the tickets. Mm -hmm. um, you can check them out on their Facebook page. They have a link as well. Um, you can upgrade to a VIP uh, pass. You get it a little bit early, and you get some gift goodie, goodie bags uh, from right. other local vendors. Mm. I know. I I half of the... 
I see why you got that, that prize there. So, okay, for more on Gypsy Diner and more about the event coming up on the tasting, and you can taste all these different things, you can find all of that uh, in our website. Go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And again, more information on that event. Doran, thank you very much. Thank you for having Delicious. us. Delicious. Still do. Oh, oh. I like that. Reliable. Crystal says, I still have Disney movies on VHS and a player to watch them on. I still have my VHS player too. Does it still work? Mine doesn't, unfortunately. Hey, mine so does. I still listen to the CDs even though I have Apple Music on my phone. Yep, I still have the CD case in my car. <laughs> Hand washing dishes. Yeah. Well, especially fine china yeah. and fine glassware. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I like that one. And Paula says, oh, wearing scrunchies. Yes. Well, and the uh, uh, fashion segment, they said that fanny packs were coming back. Not necessarily. How is, many do you, you have? Know, no, I don't think. I, <laughs> some, I don't know. Um, no, I don't. Right now, my boys are just all of a sudden, their heads are exploding. Same, <laughs> same with my wife. You know, speaking of old school, how about albums? Vinyl. I still oh. have a bunch of those and oh. sound great. Got to turn. Well, they're coming too, so. back too. They are. You know. Hey, tomorrow lemon bars from Scratch Kitchen. Oh, those that's gonna be so good. So good and Saint Patty's Day craft. Sure, and Bigata. Oh, like they're so good at that. And March Madness snacks. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow at one. <laughs> You're my favorite little bunny. Oh.